Hey everyone, it's Amy Engelmark of Amy Engelmark Coaching. How are you doing, Inner Strength Group? I hope you're doing fabulous in our third week together. So today we are focusing on our thought life and getting healthier in our minds. And our focus today is on using pain and pleasure to help you experience the change that, changes that you want to experience. So I have some great things to share with you today and some great things for you to take away and apply to your life so that you can experience the change that you want. So let's start. Everything in life is motivated by our need to experience pain or pleasure. So we either want to avoid pain or we are focusing on gaining more pleasure. And that's how we make our decisions. We also are choosing whether or not we are the one in the driver's seat or we are the one in the passenger seat. So you have a choice. You can decide if you are going to let pain and pleasure use you or if you're going to use pain and pleasure to move you where you want to go. It's a conscious choice. And it all happens when you get fed up with a decision and you link what you are, what you're perceiving as pleasurable and what you're perceiving as painful. So when you change your perception of the two. So this is where it gets really interesting. I love this and I'm so happy to be sharing it with you today. So I'm curious, what do you link incredible pleasure to? This is where you want your pen and paper to start taking notes. What do you link massive amounts of pain to? Maybe just start with one thing or if two things are apparent and clear to you right now, write that one or those two things down. What do you link great amounts of pleasure to? Or what do you associate massive, massive amounts of pain with? So for example, it could be um, you associate great amounts of pleasure with unhealthy eating or with smoking. Maybe you associate massive amounts of pain with communicating clearly and openly. Maybe you associate massive amounts of pain with saying no to people. So a few of those things have come up in the group lately and they're things for you to mull over right now. True change really happens when you change what something means to you. So smoking could start meaning to you a shorter life. Maybe not the example that you want to set for your children. There are many ways to change your perception of what is causing you pleasure right now. So the secret is to start linking so much pain and increase that emotional intensity with what you want to change right now that you won't even want to go near that behavior you've been indulging in. This is so cool because it's so possible for all of us and it's something that has changed so many people's lives taking a good look at pleasure and pain and what's motivating you. I have a quote from Michelle de Montaigne. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I just love it. I love quotes and this one I thought would be really helpful for you today. I conceive that pleasures are to be avoided if greater pains be the consequence and pains to be coveted that will terminate in greater pleasures. So I'll say that again. I conceive that pleasures are to be avoided if greater pains be the consequence and pains to be coveted that will terminate in greater pleasures. That's a good one to think about. I'm gonna leave you today with five questions that will help you bring clarity for yourself 
and they're from Awaken the Giant Within. It's Anthony Robbins' book. It's a fabulous book for personal growth if you're wanting something as a tool. And these questions will really help you understand what's been motivating you and how you can bring about change. So the first one, you're going to want to write this down, is to write down one action that you need to take that you've been putting off. Maybe it's to communicate with somebody, to lose weight. The second thing to write down is, underneath that action, write down the answer to this question. Why haven't I taken action? In the past, what pain have I linked to taking the action? So this is going to help you understand what's held you back and it also is something that will bring clarity in that area and understand that maybe the pain that it's brought about is very simple. So it could be as simple as interrupting, like taking time out of your busy schedule. That could be the pain that you're experiencing. The third is to write down all the pleasure that you've had in the past by indulging in this negative pattern. And then this will help you find a way to get that same pleasure without the negative consequences, right? It'll also help you by bringing you clarity and helping you see what your target is, what you're truly wanting to experience. The fourth question for you to write down is, what will it cost me if I don't change now? So think of all the ways that it will cost you. What will it cost you emotionally? What will it cost you financially? What about your self-image? How will it cost you in that area? And how does it make you feel? This is part of the same fourth question. And get really involved with yourself and clear on how it will make you feel because the more emotional intensity that you can experience and associate with this pain of the old habit is going to motivate you forward. And it can be used as your friend, right? That pain. The final step number five is to write down all the pleasure that you will receive by taking action right now. So make a huge list because you want to be able to look at this list on a regular basis and remind yourself of why you're doing what you're doing because you will need the reinforcements on days when you don't feel like pursuing the new goal. You don't feel like the challenge but you look at your list and you're reminded, oh yeah, these are all the reasons why I don't want to stay the same person and these are all the reasons that will benefit me. All the good things that are going to come from this. So this week, my, my hope is for you to put this to the test and start motivating yourself towards greater amounts of pleasure and, and uh, using pain as your friend to get closer to becoming the woman that you want to be and having the life that you want to have. All right, Inner Strength Group, all my love to you. Talk soon.